Hi everyone, my name is David and in this video we're going to have a Filmora 12 beta first look and this is what's new and the official version of Filmora 12 is going to be released sometime in December 2022 so stay tuned and stick around because it's coming and it's packed with a ton of features and let's begin with the homepage. The homepage looks a little bit darker, that's what I feel from Filmora 11 but we now have a ribbon here with some extra features for you to use instantly. You don't need to go inside uh, the application to start using some of them. Instant mode, screen recorder, auto reframe, instant cutter, let's go on, silence detection, auto beat, sync. Now, really awesome. That's the first change that you can notice uh, and maybe it's a little bit darker. Next up, let's jump into a new project. And from this section, you'll notice that uh, it feels a little bit darker. I don't know if it's me, but I feel it feels a little bit uh, more darker than in Filmora 11. But you can notice that from this section, we have a couple of changes. We have effects, stickers, templates. We used to have things like split screens. Where have they gone to? If I click on templates, and let's say we just close that, we have split screen right here. So don't you worry, it's still available if you use it uh, most of the times. If we go back to media, you can see now that we have adjustment layers right inside here from the home page. Now, next up, we have a bunch of predefined layouts. And if I click on this, I'm using the classic layout. This is what has been in uh, Filmora 11 and so on and so forth. But if you go to something like the default, uh, what probably yours has shipped in, then you'll have all everything else as it is. But now you have a project info. What are the settings for your project? What are your dimensions? And so on and so forth. Next up, you can click on this and you can see this is the organized version where you can organize your media here and then edit it right inside here. And you can always close this particular ribbon so that you get more real estate and then you can do whatever you want. You can expand it again, but you can see it right inside there. We can look at another workspace, uh, maybe the timeline. This is what it looks like. And this might be very important, especially uh, when you want to confirm everything is as you want it to be. Uh, but uh, I feel the classic is still the winner in this. I love having this particular player all by itself and just working uh, without any distraction that doesn't really need a lot of changes all the time. Finally, we have a dual mode and this is a layout that is available if you have an external monitor. So make use of this is you have if you have a secondary monitor, uh, maybe you can use or add the player somewhere on that side so that you can free up more space for you to edit your videos. So that's uh, the layout. The layout. Next up, we have keyboard shortcuts. And if you're coming from an ecosystem like Adobe Premiere Pro or maybe Apple Final Cut, then you have predefined keyboard shortcuts. And by default, we have the Wondershare Filmora. If I click on this drop down, we have Adobe Premiere Pro and then we have Apple Final Cut Pro uh, keyboard settings. If I click on this, a couple of things will change and you can always customize to your needs uh, based on what you use and everything. Uh, looks really good. As for Final Cut, you have the same options. And as we scroll down, kindly take a look at this because uh, it's moving along as we move along uh, the various sections of the keyboard shortcuts. But let's leave it at Wondershare Filmora. Looks good. So those are the keyboard shortcuts. You can have preferences uh, for uh, Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. That's really, really awesome. Uh, I believe what we'll need now to test is maybe something like the adjustment layer. So I can get some media uh, right inside here. Let's just drag this footage here. At the moment, I don't want to create a proxy, uh, although a proxy is good, especially if you have huge video files like 4K, so that it saves you space. You'll be able to edit the footage in just a lower resolution, but when you export, the file will be in the better resolution. So that's why uh, having a proxy is good. So uh, we have our files here, and let's assume we can just get a couple of them uh, right here and just drag right there. Now we've got these clips right here and let's say we want to adjust how they look you can just click on this maybe drag this particular adjustment layer 
on top and the good thing is that you don't make changes to your footage just what's in this particular uh, layer above so we can just scroll it to this section and then let's say we want maybe to add something uh, let's say we add maybe like let's say go with a cool film or something and if we look at it this is actually going to be added all across the board if i turn it off our footage is still the same uh, but now when we have the adjustment layer available you can change all that so it's really really awesome because you can add a couple of things let's say maybe we look for something like let's say if, uh, we go for a lot maybe black and white and let's just drag and drop this uh, looks good and if you can just double click on uh, the adjustment layer you'll see what's available uh, you can go slowly down there so effects we've added the willow effect that's what's giving it a black and white uh, effect as for the color we may probably just we added the cool film but let's assume we remove that now we have a clear uh, black and white but if we close this or uh, hide this you can still see your media the way it is so for that that's had that has been sorted we can actually delete that uh, then let's let's look at this and now what we have is we have the draw mask and uh, for this one it's really really awesome because clearly in previous versions it was not possible to draw a mask so i can just double click on this and go to mask we now have the option to draw a mask and you can just maybe draw your mask right around maybe this particular flower let's keep going just keep going and there we have a mask so you can do whatever uh, you want with it you have different options here at uh, the blast strength uh, you can maybe just do something of that sort opacity maybe bring it down or whatever you want and there are keyframes that you can now add right inside here uh, so that's uh, you can actually invert let's see what it looks like actually it looks good and then you can animate the path and so on and so forth save as custom uh, but if i play this that is what it looks like really depends on what your imagination is going to take you to you can do uh, whatever you want uh, with this looks really really good especially when that's possible so you can actually maybe bring it back slightly and cut out before the bee flies away and you achieve whatever effect that you want to achieve uh, but something else i've mentioned is that you now have uh, advanced uh, kind of keyframes so you can just maybe let's go to like basic and you can scale the position rotation adc but something else you can do right now let's click ok let's go to effects and then let's go to maybe something like urban high so just double click on that effects and then just add a keyframe right there move along the way add another keyframe and then just scroll down let's say add another keyframe now let's say we come to this keyframe just double click on it let's drop the opacity back to zero if you move back that's what we get we play our video like that uh, we get that particular keyframe is going going we get back the normal look that we had right about there and then it starts going back to the original look that we had once it's about to approach this particular keyframe so advanced keyframes are available even for things like effects and you can actually use them uh, to create a particular look that you want uh, for your videos uh, right inside Wondershare Filmora 12. So uh, that's really awesome. So uh, what else can we look at? We can look at maybe, let's remove this media from here. Let's go to the project media. Let's say we want this particular video. Now the next one, I want to show you the AI tools uh and we may need to change our layout slightly let's say maybe go with this default 
and the default is going to come in handy especially when you want to use these tools all at once uh, it's a really good option especially if you want to speed up instead of double clicking on the media and go in here so if i click on this media there's the option for ai tools click on that and then i want to use the ai smart cutout just scroll down and you'll see it right here and then we'll click on it and once you click on it let's draw a line of sorts but from this section you can actually change the color of what this is going to look like let's say we go maybe with something like this and then let's draw and let's go so that's what this looks like if you're satisfied with the selection just click on this for this to analyze uh, our, our media it's going to actually track our subject it looks really good because we want to take out the background using the smart cutout option and it looks awesome so far uh, the tree is going to be a little bit confusing but it still looks extremely good looks extremely good looks extremely good actually so let's see what we're going to get once it's done so it's done processing uh, you can change the brush size the edge thickness the edge feather and so on and so forth you also have an advanced mode where you can actually move forward and back uh, to see everything as it is but let's go to save and now the background has been automatically removed let's play there we go we may need pride to adjust uh, maybe at the feather but it still looks good uh, it looks good uh, for what it's worth and if we can actually just pose that uh, we can maybe grab maybe like a stock media let's say mine downloads uh, let's say maybe we go with this one and we can actually just move this up bring this down uh, we go to the home so if you wanted to create a look like this fellow is just walking somewhere at the beach or whatever uh, looks really good that's the smart cutout option and it's really really awesome now the next one is uh, really something that i believe uh is very handy in the industry what i'm going to do i'm going to just going to select all the media just drag and drop right inside there so we have a bunch of clips right inside here and then uh, we can add maybe some music uh let's say we go to audio let's say we go for this about three minutes let's say we go with this let's add this particular audio file right there let's remove our anti clips right there so let, what we have here is we have our audio but it doesn't fit the elements or the video that we have so we can use the ai stretch tool to stretch our audio and you'll not even notice it so guess it comes up to here So if you come up to here, so what we're going to do, we're going to click on this particular audio stretch tool and it's AI powered. If I click on it and come to this section, you'll see what it looks like. We need to stretch that audio. Let's move it to where we want it to get. It's going to stretch using AI and you cannot even recognize what happened. So if you actually play this, can't even recognize there was any change to that particular audio looks really really awesome there are also a bunch of new improvements uh, and uh, to the effects 3d effects and so on and so forth but I feel that's an in-depth video for what's coming in Wondershare Filmora 12 sometime in December this is the beta version uh, obviously it has some bugs uh, probably my only uh, maybe downside in this is that I've always hoped for that they would, for the titles, let's say you want to create subtitles from scratch. Uh, let's say you get this subtitle. Let's say you wanted to add subtitles and then uh, export the subtitle. So uh, this is the subtitle we have here. So we can actually uh, maybe change this. This is, this is subtitle one and then 
this is subtitle to uh, that looks good so in uh, in Filmora 11, uh, they introduced the uh, option to import and export SRT files. But what I find a little bit strange is that when you use this subtitling option, which to me is kind of like text, it's not possible to export this subtitle as a subtitle. It's not possible. So I wish this was possible to actually export this subtitle as a subtitle, SRT, VTT, whatever, uh, because uh, you can create a bunch of subtitles here but if you cannot export them with a time code to maybe YouTube or, or, or whatever you want to upload them to, then it doesn't really make sense. But all in all, the new features, that is the AI smart cutout, the AI audio stretch, the adjustment layer, the layouts, uh, the advanced keyframes, the option to draw a mask, everything is going to come in handy once the official version is out and we are able to test out everything before then. So. Hopefully you'll stick around for more tutorials on Wondershare Filmora 12 once it's official. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.